At the beginning of the year, I started with one fixed blade and I ended the year with 13. I went down the fixed blade rabbit hole and in today's video, I chose five of my favorite to help you along with your journey if you're looking into getting a fixed blade. And if you watch till the very end, I'm going to show you how I carry my fixed blades and how that's affected why I carry them more often. Let's get to it. So right off the bat, I'm going to cheat a little bit because I'm going to show you guys two fixed blades, but it's by the same maker. These are the Knives by Nuge Wicket and Wicket XL both incredible fixed blades the wicket is a smaller version this is meant to be used as a neck knife and i have the neck sheath for it i never saw myself carrying a neck knife but then taylor of course got one and he kind of got me hooked so he ended up buying me this one as a little gift which i love the wicket is the perfect size you can choke up on it really well it has a scandy grind that is ridiculously sharp and the jute wrap dipped in resin handle it's just perfect. It feels like it's going to last a lifetime and it just provides the right amount of grip. If the Wicket is too small for you, we have the Wicket XL. The bigger version of it, same thing, Scandi grind. I believe 80 CRV2 steel. This one feels just as comfortable, but if you're looking to kind of upgrade and you think that the Wicket is a little too small, the Wicket XL is right up your alley. Now, I believe both of these come in stainless steels, like if you're interested in maybe carrying around Nitro V rather than like 1095 or 80 CR V2, those options are available. There's also micarta handles, G10 handles. Tom over at Knives by Nuge has created a wide variety of fixed blades that I think you guys should check out. He's a great dude and he's creating some really awesome fixed blades. And honestly, this is just like the first ones that I've owned. He has other models that are available as well that you should definitely check out sharpest knives out of the box that i've ever received and just one of the most comfortable designs that i've handled yet so knives by news wicked and wicked excel is number one on my list make sure to check them out let's go on to number two number two is all reliable my winkler sd1 i made a video about this a couple years ago it was the first fixed blade i ever bought my buddy mb wild will told me about them I picked it up and I loved it maple handle I believe 1095 steel or 80 CRV2 steel um, the only thing that kind of sucked with this is that the edge that comes from the factory or from the shop was not that great so I had my buddy sharpen it up and now it's been razor sharp ever since and I just love this I am a sucker for anything that has a wooden handle you got a little bit of jimping on there so you can really choke up on it and this Winkler has just felt like a workhorse I've moved with this knife I worked at the Safari with this knife and it is just the perfect size. Winkler also has the Blue Ridge, which is the 8-inch overall blade. And that one is more of like a belt knife. It's more of a car knife, truck knife, whatever you want to call it. But I found that the SD1 has been the perfect one to carry. Partnered up with this Oak City Leather leather sheath. I love it. I think you guys should definitely check it out. They are a little bit spendy. But again, this has been reliable for I believe 2-3 to three years now. And it's just one of my favorite fixed blades. So Winkler definitely a brand you should check out when you're diving into fixed blades scope around see what they have and i can vouch for the sd1 as a really good and reliable everyday carry in the fixed bay world let's dive into number three. Third on my list is one of the newest additions this is the confidant by tj schwartz if you guys have followed me on instagram i told the story of how this knife was hand assembled right in front of me at blade show west you were able to fill out a sheet, pick out the specs on this as far as like micarta, screws, pivot collars, and all that good stuff. And they assembled it right in front of your eyes. This one has M390 and has just been a really awesome knife to carry. Very slim. You got a big belly that cuts through anything. And I carried this with me at Georgia Bushcraft and it was just awesome. The Confidant is a little bit bigger and there's even a bigger one like the Overland or a smaller one like the Overland Sport. But I am a fan of just carrying a bigger fixed blade. I don't care if it's bigger, honestly. And this has just been really awesome and reliable. TJ Schwartz is a really nice dude. So the fact that you can pick up a fixed blade, I think they go for 265, so a little spendy. But you can choose your handle materials, your screw finishes, your screw collar finishes as well. The fact that it's customizable like that, I think it's definitely worth checking out. So in my opinion, definitely worth the price point. If you're looking for something smaller, Overland Sport. If you're looking for something bigger, there's the Overland as well. But the Confidant is perfect for me. So this is the number three spot on my fixed blade list. Let's jump into number four. The LT Wright Frontier Valley. I purchased this at Georgia Bushcraft and I have been really loving it. I believe it's AEBL Steel. It is just 
stunning. My car to handle, it is the right size. You get a nice and big choil up here to choke up on. It just feels good. It comes with this beautiful leather belt sheath as well. And the guys at LT Wright are just really good dudes. This thing is really slicey right out of the box or right out of Georgia Bushcraft. Um, and I've been using this as my dedicated muffin knife. If you have been following me on Instagram, you know all about that. LT Wright focuses on affordable fixed blades, which is awesome if you're looking to jump into it at a more affordable price point. But the quality is still there even at $100. I think their most expensive fixed blade that I saw was roughly $400 or so dollars in Magna Cut, which again is a super steal. But if you're looking for something to beat up on that's going to be reliable, the boys at LT Wright know what's up. I got to meet Brandon from BattleBox and he had one that had just been beat to shit and it looked awesome and he swore by it up and down. So LT Wright is a really good place to start off if you're looking for your first fixed blade. Affordable, high quality, and it's all I believe made in-house by them directly. And you can contact them, chat with them through social media if anything happens, but just a really great purchasing experience at Georgia Bushcraft and it's just been a really great knife to use. So LT Wright Frontier Valley is my pick, but I believe anything from LT Wright is going to be a winner, so make sure to check them out. Number five and last on the list is the Brandon Park Wasp. Ultim Scales, razor sharp, part of the box too. I got to talk with Brandon a little bit and he kind of talked to me about the process of making his knives. If you want a full detailed review on this, I'm gonna put it down in the description, but just a really awesome fixed blade. It comes with this maroon Kydex sheath, and this thing is also just incredibly sharp. Good overall size on this one, real easy to choke up on, extremely comfortable and ergonomic. I carried this one around quite a lot when I first got it in, and it's just a really good place to start. Again, pretty affordable-ish at the 200 price point, but he also has other designs that are a little bit lower on the price scale if you're wanting to jump into something that's not as expensive, which is totally understandable. I have been enjoying this so much, and then Taylor ended up getting one too, so we're kind of matching at the moment. But Brandon Park just makes some beautiful fixed blades, so make sure you guys to check them out if you're looking for something that's a little bit different and unique. Now, I said I wanted to do five, but I did have some honorable mentions because that's just the way I am. I feel bad about doing five, but I also feel bad if I were to do 13 knives and talk your ears off. So an honorable mention is The Trader by JRW. Jamie showed me this knife before it was released. I was able to do some of the photos and videos for it before its launch. And it is just awesome. It is such a funky shape and funky design, uh, but it's just super cool. That's what kind of drew me to it. Just very different from what you see out on the market. I believe these are in stock in certain retailers. Wherever I find them, I'll link them down below. But it's just a really neat piece. Definitely a conversation starter. And Jamie is branching out and doing different colors of like G10. Maybe there's a micarta in the future. Who knows? But definitely one you should check out if you want something very, very unique. The Trader by JRW definitely hits that spot on. Another brand you guys should look into if you're looking to buy your first fixed blade at an affordable price point is Tops. So I've been able to check out the El Pionero and the Tom Brown Tracker 4. And there's also the big guy, the SXS Skull Crusher. Um, that one is absolutely ridiculous. But Tops makes some really incredible fixed blades at really affordable price points, which I think is really cool. All of them are carbon steel, like 1095 ADC RV2. So they're not all stainless from what I'm aware of. But again, it's one of those things that you weigh out when you're looking at different price points in the fixed blade category. The Tom Brown Tracker 4, I got it just because I'm a fan of the tracker look. Definitely not a knife that I'm going to use all that often, but I just think it looks wicked cool. And the El Pionero, I was actually carrying around Georgia Bushcraft as well. Just a really cool fixed blade. Very, very thin and pokey and slicey. So I can definitely recommend picking either one of these up if you're looking for not only something fun, but if you want something that's really good and affordable, Tops always comes through with really high quality products. So definitely check them out in your fixed blade journey. And last, but definitely not least, this is the Seago by Wade Knife and Tool. This was gifted to me by Taylor at Blade Show West. And it is just a really, really ergonomic knife. I mean, the ability to choke up on this thing and really slice into things is really awesome. I believe this might be like a linen micarta on the scales. And there's something about this knife that just hits me like spot on. It's just very rugged, minimal, and it just, mm, like I don't know how to explain it. It's just one of those, you know what I mean? But Taylor is an incredibly nice dude. 
He's coming up with some new designs at the moment. I'll make sure to link his Instagram below for you guys to check him out. And it's just awesome being able to support him. I'm really looking forward to some of his other work coming down the pipeline. But the Seago has just been a really fun knife to carry, which is really cool. And it supports him on his journey. So if you're interested in checking the Seago out, or if you want to just check out some of the designs that are up and coming, make sure to check them out on Instagram. And that is it, guys. Those are five fixed blades that I recommend you check out. I did say if you stayed till the end of the video, I'd show you why I've been carrying more fixed blades. And that is because of one thing. These are the Offensive Industries pocket sheaths. Now, the really cool thing about these is that they're ambi sheaths. So your knife can go one way or your knife can go the other way and it fits in just right, which makes the carrying process of a fixed blade really awesome. Normally, if I have a fixed blade on my belt, I don't have the confidence to just reach down and just put that back in the sheath. So something like this gives you enough clearance for your fixed blade, and it just gives you the confidence to know that you're putting it into your pocket without destroying your sheath or destroying your clothes on the way down. I got to hang out with Josh at Georgia Bushcraft as well, and he's just an incredible dude. You can send him your knives and he can make these sheaths for whatever you send him, which is really cool as well. I plan on sending him a couple of my Topps knives to make these sheets for him. The pocket clip is awesome. I don't remember the name of them right now, but they have a really good grip to them and nice retention. So even if you just yank your fixed blade out of the sheath, the sheath is not gonna come with it. And depending on the knife that you make it for, I mean, these aren't too incredibly thick, so they actually fit really well in the pocket. So offensive industry sheets, highly, highly recommend them for any of your fixed blades. If you wanna start carrying them more often, but have them in your pocket, this is the way to go. So that is it. Those are my five favorite fixed blades along with some honorable mentions. If you want to check any of these out, all the links are going to be down below. I hope that this helps you out in your fixed blade journey. I kind of figured it out on my own and I had help from Taylor, but it's definitely fun. It's been nice to carry something that's reliable like a fixed blade. You don't have to worry about anything on it besides just keeping it clean or oiled if it's a carbon steel. And it's just been super fun to check out some fixed blade makers. If you dive into the, the world of folders too often, you forget that there's a whole other side of the EDC community. So it's been really nice kind of balancing both out. And I've been carrying a folder and a fixed blade ever since. So let me know down below if you have a brand that I should check out. And if you're carrying a fixed blade today, what are you carrying? Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.